I'm going to do a peach glam look today for Ruth. She has an event later this month and she requested this particular look. So hopefully something I show you today will be inspirational. I'm going to begin with a peachy paint pot. This is called Laying Low. I went through my stash and looked for anything peachy. And I gathered them all up for inspiration. So this is Laying Low and I'm using this multitasker concealer brush that I enjoy so much that Sephora doesn't make anymore. They, they make it now, but it's on the one end of a double-ended brush. That's a really pretty peachy beginning. So I pulled out, I went through all my shadows and pulled out everything that reminded me of a peach. And I went through all my lip products and pulled out everything that reminded me of a peach. So hopefully something will spark your creativity. That's the contacts under eye. Vitamin C All Day Eye Cream. I was hoping that that would wipe off the... Mascara! Having a, t having a time with my words this morning. See if I can find an appropriate crease color. Hold on. The crease color that inspired me was Riff by Urban Decay. So I'm going to begin there. This jacket is a old, super old jacket blazer from the junior department at Kohl's. It's a Princess Wang. So I finished my book last night. I'll leave the title of it right here. It was pretty good. It had me guessing until the very end. That was Riff. Now I'm going to take the color M126. from Make It Forever. And I'm going to take a flat brush. This is an exact blend E32 from Sigma. Oh yeah. Okay, so I was just doing a feasibility study last night and one of the palettes that really inspired me was the Elf Pumpkin Pie palette and then the ColourPop Peach palette. But I didn't want to order anything. I wanted to get up this morning and get right to this look. I am, however, going to look and see if I can locate the e.l.f. palette, the little bite-sized palette. I'll put a picture of it right here. I'm going to see if I can locate that today. All right, so that color is M126 from Makeup Forever. Now... Now I'm going to take ColourPop Melrose. I've used this color before as an all over the lid color. I'm going to keep my eye open and do this in the shape of a winged liner. I've turned it into an outer V situation. And I'm going to bring it underneath the bottom. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and fluff that around. I'm going to use some of the original color I used to do that. I 
I'm going to take a, that's a uh, kind of an, an emollient shadow. So I'm going to take a key tip and soften that. I've got a little bit of the, it was a clean brush, but then I dipped it into the, that lid color, M126. There we go. Now I'm going to take ColourPop Roy G. Biv. There. And I'm going to put that in the, I'm putting it on with my finger. Wow, Jenny, we were curious which appendage that was. And she wanted a glam look. So that's got a little bit of sparkle. I'm liking it. All right, that was Roy G. Biv by ColourPop. Now I've now hmm. I would like a brown pencil. I'll probably have to go look in my kit for one. Let's try this uh, torch in the all right, I have to go look for a brown pencil. Wow. scary so far. All right. I found a brown pencil. I found the Overboard by ColourPop. I'm thinking that's not going to that's not going to be enough color. That probably should have gone on the waterline. Okay, pretend I didn't put the uh whatever the O torch down there and I just put the Overboard. Now I'm going to take Espresso, and this is a Makeup Geek eyeliner. I know, I find it hard to believe I don't have any. Any brown eyeliners. I don't get that request very often. I'm moving that Espresso around with a Wayne Goss brush. I can't see the number. I'll take my Q-tip and soften that. Let's see what the number on that Wayne Goss brush is. It's a seven. Smudge that in with my number seven brush from Wayne Goss. I always like how this uh, left eye comes out better. This wing liner always comes out better. Uh, it was supposed to be a glamorous look, and I, I associate wing liner with glamour always. All right, and lashes. Okay. We'll perfect those after we get our lashes on. I'm connecting this peachy color to my eyebrow here in the front. All right, let's do brows. I'm still liking the Sigma Pomade. Still liking the uh, EO6 brush from Sigma. All right, I have my eyebrows on and I went ahead and put on my Lancome Seals Booster so that you wouldn't have to watch that. That's my eyelash primer. Now I'm going to do skin. I'm going to begin with the by Terry. I'm going to use the, the primer. I'm going to carry it down my neck. It's a Hyaluronic Hydro Primer, so it feels really good on my skin. 
we haven't been running the heat very much. We've kept it, kept it down like at 65, so it hasn't run much. But my skin still feels a little dry. All right, and then I'm going to take the CC serum, and I'm going to put it in the spots that I want to highlight or bounce light out of. For example, here. Around my mouth. Where those folds are getting deeper. And it's luminous. So I'm going to put it here. and down the center of my nose. Then I'm going to take the Westman Atelier Foundation since we're being extra today and I'm going to use my optical blurring brush by Urban Decay to apply this foundation. This is an updo in case you can't tell. <laughs> it served two purposes. It w I was supposed to look glamorous. <laughs> but also I slept with my hair on top of my head. And when I pulled it down, it looked like I had slept with my hair on top of my head. So I thought, well, I'm going to do a cocktail party hairdo. I am taking the brush across the stick instead of putting the stick on then buffing because I think that's the way I saw Westman Atelier Gucci Westman do it herself. So far I don't have a, an opinion either way regarding the benefits of Either one. Usually I put a stick foundation on my face and then I go in and buff it out because I feel like the heat on my face gives it up. Makes it more emollient, makes it move around easier. All right, now I have the contour stick. It's called Face Trace Contour Stick in Biscuit. I'm going to take a I'm going to take this contour brush from Lorac. And I'm going to do it the same way. Ooh, it's got powder in it. I may prefer this this way. Taking it out of the stick versus putting it on my face. It may be more exact this way. Now I'm going to contour my nose. Make this tip skinnier. Contour under my bottom lip. contour along the hairline just because I like to. This is the Lorac brush contour brush that came in the Pro Contour kit that everybody was buying about five years ago. Speaking of which, does anybody want to see a makeup look using makeup I've had for over five years. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Comment here. Say, I want to see a makeup look using makeup you've had over five years. There. Now I'm going to do my jawline. Why? Just because I can. 
just because we're being extra today. See if I can camouflage my waddle. All right, that's enough contouring. I think my face is worn out. Let's do a layer of mascara and then we'll do the highlighting. This is the Stila Huge Mascara. I'm still enjoying it tremendously. Hugely. I'm still enjoying this huge mascara hugely. I was going to try my mascara brush today. Let's try the mascara brush to separate the eyelashes. I'm going to try... No, I'm not. I'm going to use the mascara brush when I do the bottom lashes. I'm going to use a, my brownish color grandiose on the bottom lashes. I don't know why I'm making such a big deal about this because I'm going to put some lashes on. Because we're going to be glamorous. Alright, let's do the uh, grandiose on the bottom. The look is starting to come together now that we're getting eyelashes, right? Oh shoot, I was going to use my eyelash brush down here. Oh well. At the end, if we need any tiny lashes done, we'll use that. I tell you what, I'm a creature of habit. It's hard for me to pick up a new tool. Alright, let's do under eye concealer and highlight. I'm going to use, I was going to, there it is, Mabel, wow, I go through this stuff fast. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the color brightener. I have like three backups. So everything's cool. I'm going to use my F64 Soft Concealer Brush from Sigma. Those two products just go hand in hand, don't they? The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I know some of you have bought the, this brush and you've told me about it and that, that you really liked it. That you appreciated me sharing it. You are welcome! I'm trying to think what else I've... What other brushes I've shared with you that you've really liked. All right, I'm going to put some more Roy G. Biv on my lid before I go in with my lashes so I don't get shadow on my lashes making my lashes dusty looking. I want them to stay dark. I'm going to take the balm. It's called Overshadow. I'm going to spray it, spray my brush, and put that right here. And I'm going to put it right here. here and here. Then I'm going to go back and tap out this up here. Fade this up, cut this off on the bottom, but fade it up. Alright, I have a rose gold 
powder from it's starlit it's from makeup forever i'm going to put that under that bottom color i used i lost some of it on this side all right i think i'm ready to put my lashes on these are brand called shanny I'll just, sh there's the, there's the brand. They're set, I don't know what set they are. T01-1, I'm going to measure them and see how much I need to trim off. I think I'm gonna cut these in half and put, because they're uh, symmetric, and I'm going to put half on one side and half on the other. I'm going to make little baby half lashes. I'm using the Dark Duo. I'm I was probably getting ready to do something I regretted. I was going to just make a bubble and run it along the bubble. The shortcuts usually don't work out. So, I'm putting some glue down and taking a half of a... I'm taking half of a Q-tip and using it as an applicator for this. This has kind of a stiff band and I was thinking that I probably would not be able to get it to cooperate on my on my round eyes because I'm a round eye. Remember Patrick talking about that At, when he went to go visit Hawaii? They called him a round eye. All right, I'm going to, the center of these lashes were the part that was the longest, so, so I'm going to move the longest part to the outside. Okay, I set one down. It's still a little wet. It didn't grab, so I'm going to let it sit there and think about its purpose in life. And now I'm going to do the other one. I don't want to glue hair to my eyelash. They're glued on. Whoop, whoop. I'll try to list these lash, lashes in the in the description box. But I here you can see the shape. I picked one. I picked a lash that was longest in the center and short on the ends, and I cut it in half and put this side over on this eye, and this side on this eye on the outside. All right. I'm going to take the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to set underneath my eyes and diffuse out that shadow more. Set up here. There we go. Now, let's see. Now, I pulled out the Milani Coralina blush. And I'm going to try to find a clean blush brush so we don't mix a bunch of colors. This is the Spotlight Duster 137 from Sigma. Oh yeah. This has a shot a, a highlight in it, so you don't need highlight with this. And I'm gonna brush it across right there. All right. All right, while you were gone, while the camera was cooling off, I created a lip. First, in, first of all, I went in with this color from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to draw it here.
It's called Sexy Lips. I'll put the exact name right here. There's that part. All right. Then I outlined my lips gently with this Ofra. It is Verona. That was my grandmother's name. It's the it's the color of uh, contour. So I outlined my lips a little bit with that, or shaded my lips a little bit with that. And I blended it with my finger like that. Okay, so that's a, a lick. I don't know whether it's a gloss or a maybe it's a gloss. But you can see how it's shaded around the outside, right? Then I took this bright pink. It is a Milani, and it's called Catwalk, and I put it right in the center. I'm going to mess up my lips because I did a good job. <laughs> and I put that right in the center. You know how a peach has got pink where it's the most right? A real peach? So it's right here. I know. It's quite a creation. Oh, that's not all I did. Then I took this uh, Kevin O'Quan lip gloss. And I took it up here where my highlight is. And this color is Poppy Topaz. I need another coat of brown mask. Sounds like it's raining again. Brown mascara on the bottom. I was hoping to take Taco for a walk today. It rained. It was a torrential rainfall yesterday and Taco did not want to go outside. So I think he's holding it. Now I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus. My Binky is staying so Beaky. Beaky sponge is staying soft. Alright. Also, I wanted to show you something else fun. This, if, if you're going to be glamorous, only if you're going to be glamorous, though. I wear this, like, even to the gym, but most girls only want to wear it when they're glamorous. Shimmer Spritzer Rose Gold Finishing Spray. <laughs> Sounds like spray paint, doesn't it? Thank you, Ruth, for asking me to do this video. I enjoyed going through my stash, collecting up peach, peachy things and things that reminded me of the exact fruit. I hope this inspires you to help. I hope this look, I hope this video gave you some ideas for how you're going to do your makeup for your event. Please send me a picture and let me know. Please send me a picture so I can see the look that you did. Thank you again and Thank you, Ruth, for asking me to do this video. I enjoyed going through my stash, picking out all the things peach. 
I hope this video inspires you. I hope this video gives you my I hope this video gives you some ideas for what to do for your look for your event. Please send me a picture so I can see what you came up with. Also, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and what else? Oh, comment. Please comment. I forgot I forgot to take the baking off. All right. Thank you. In the comments, let me know what your favorite part of this look is. Y'all have a great day and talk to you soon.